to show you how to get the data for the Yelp restaurant study. So notice I'm already at the Yelp homepage and I have my Google spreadsheet open and ready to go. Notice at the bottom there's one tab that says trendy and the other tab that says traditional. So we're going to start off with the trendy data. Um, to find the data, the first thing you have to do for Trendy is to put in your zip code. So I'm just going to put in a zip code in New Jersey. And that's going to give me a, a list of restaurants that are in the basic area of New Jersey. But in order to replicate the study and to ensure validity, um, I'm going to use filters. Um, in the original study, they used the most reviewed to identify the trendy. So the top 10 most reviewed study uh, restaurants were considered the trendy restaurants. And then also, I am going to use bird's eye view for the distance because that's going to keep the area focused pretty tightly on the one zip code. And I've noticed that in Yelp, it does have whatever algorithm it uses. Sometimes it mis mixes in things from a bit farther away. So now I have my list of top 10 restaurants in 07446. And I can just write down their names. So the first one is Kinchley's Tavern. So over in my spreadsheet, I'm going to just write in Kinchley's Tavern. And then I'm going to look at the number of reviews, which I can see right here is 298. It's a good number of reviews. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick the first review. And that's just a decision we're making in uh, for this restaurant. And remember that um, in the original study, they looked at all of the reviews. So they would have coded all 298 reviews. Um, Again, they have their own algorithm they use to put um, reviews at the top, but in our case, we're going to use the newest um, first because that's going to give us a current review and also um, reduce whatever bias is in the Yelp sort, which probably includes like reviews that themselves are highly rated. So in this case, um, we have a review from this person, Paul R., and it says, been coming here for 20 years, love it, garlic bread parm, leaves your mouth watering. The pizza was on a very thin crust and very flavorful. So that's the whole review, not much there. And it didn't mention the neighborhood at all, so I'm just going to type the word no in that space, and I'm not going to copy any comments. And then I'm going to go back to my sorted list and continue down that list of restaurants uh, and do Varka, Estiatoria, um, Fire and Oak, and so on to get my top 10 uh, trendy restaurants. Now, I, I do um, want you to notice that it, um, the next step, which is the traditional restaurants. Now, depending on your neighborhood, your definition of traditional might be different. You might say Italian or Mexican, um, whatever um, makes sense for the ethnicity um, and history of your neighborhood. So in Bedford-Stuyvesant, they put soul food and Caribbean in as the options. Uh, and in Greenpoint, they put in Polish. So here in this town in New Jersey, um, there's not really a traditional food, but I'm just going to put in diner because diner is a traditional kind of restaurant that they would have in New Jersey um, compared to some of these uh, Greek fancier restaurants. So I'm going to go ahead and search for diners in New Jersey in 07446. I'm going to skip past the ads. And also I am going to still make sure that I have my... Um, most reviewed and bird's eye view selected. And then what I'm going to do is 
find again the first one on the list. And one thing I'm going to have to check, and you should do this too, is I think State Line Diner was on the original list of 10 trendy restaurants. So anything that's also already on the trendy list, I'm just going to skip over. So let's say that Mason Jar wasn't on the, the top 10 list of trendy, then I would go ahead and put that on my traditional list. So I just go over to traditional and put in Mason Jar and the number of reviews and go through the same procedure that I did for the trendy restaurants. And then after I do my 10 traditionals, I'm finished with my data collection.